Good morning everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining me, very nice to see you. Uh, feet nice and wide as we always say, shoulders back and down, chest is lifted. Do you like my Anne Boleyn t-shirt from Hampton Court? That's it. And we'll take some breaths in because you know I'm a volunteer at Hampton Court as well as the Victoria and Albert Museum and the Tower of London and goodness knows when I'll ever get back to any of those. But never mind, I'm here with you today. Thank you for joining me. I'll put some music on and we'll have some fun. There we are, that should be the right sound level. I hope you were breathing all that time. Nice little gentle march. That's it, keeping the feet apart. And let's pay attention to the shoulders. Rolling through, that's it. Good. I must remember not to bang my feet down. I've discovered these floors are quite noisy. When I'm listening back to the video, I can hear tap, 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 tap. Never mind. on we go. Arms through. It's a learning experience, isn't it? I'm sure, like me, you're doing this at home. Thought I'd give you a change of scene today. This is the bedroom. Up we go. That's it. Bigger each time. Well done. Now I'm going to angle to the corner. Come with me. Come with me. Good. Let's park the arms here. And as we come back, pull those elbows back. That's right. Right behind your back. So warming through the big muscles of the back now, behind the shoulders. Take the arms a little higher. If you can, each time I do this, I try and improve on it. Make sure I don't step out of the shot. Just keep the feet going, and if you want to, you can speed up the arms. That's it. Same thing, but this pace, or this pace. That's it. Four. Three. Two. Keep the steps as big as you can. Good, and pause. Little heel digs. Poking the toe up. Pushing the hips back. And we'll slow it down. Here. That's it. Stretching down the backs of the legs. Pushing the hips back. Keep the back flat if you can. Just two more. Good. Very nice. And now back to that side step. Bringing the arms through. That's the way. Bit higher if you can. Well done. And now we'll turn to this corner. Good. Reach and back. Park the arms there again. And those high elbows coming back. Keep the elbows lifted. Good. Keeps the chest lifted. And that definitely helps with the posture. Take the arms higher angle if you can. Well done. And if you want to, you can go faster. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Only if you like it. Otherwise, stay with this one. Good. Four. Three. Two, one, and release the arms. Little tap back with the toes. Little tap behind. Good. Get the arms ready to push out and push and hold. Push and hold. Bit higher. Push. That's it. Nice big stretch. Last time here. Very nice. 
Now, deep step to the side. Deep, wide squat. That's it. Low as you can go. Take a moment to get used to it. And then bring these arms up because we're going to open and close. Keeping the elbows as high as you possibly can. That's it. Good. Deeper breathing now. I certainly have. That means we're exercising the heart and the lungs, working them properly. Good. This is about the chain gang. Step forward and back. Nice and slow, nice and big. Stay on this leg, that's it. Forward and back. And take up your pickaxe because you're on the chain gang now. And crash. That's it. Working on the chain gang. Keep going on this side. So you're coming as deep as you can. Good. Up to you how deep that is. But let's have these big arms right over the top. Well done. Last two. And one. Good. Release. Now out to the side. Keep this knee going. Softening. That's it. Let's pick up the rock and plonk it down on the pile. You can see I've taken this chain gang stuff seriously. Good. So as you pop it down, push the hips behind. Yes, it's a squat. But I'm trying to distract you. Just two more. Two. And one. Well done. Okay, shake the legs out. And we'll go on the other side. So, not such a big set to start with. And then as you get confident, you can make it deeper. Take up your pick. Crash. That's it. This is the one where I make you say, ooh, ah. Yeah, you remember, it's all coming back now. Nice and big. That's it. If you're in your bedroom like me, you're probably on carpet anyway. Last one. So it's a soft landing. So we're trying to keep the moves as big as possible because we want to raise the heart rate. Exercise is good for us, that's it. Let's pick up the stone and put it on the pile in front, a bit higher now. But we don't want to raise the heart rate by going for a jog. So we're doing it by working the big muscles of the legs, big and deep. Good, I've got my pile right up to the top now. There we go, last one. Here, well done. And just shake it out, shake it out. Have a bit of a wriggle. Take the legs nice and wide and just gently side to side. That's it. Let's slow it down and take the arm over. And back, I'm going for four of these. My knees are gently pushing side to side. My tummy is pulled in. My shoulders are down my back. Good. Little pause. Other side now. That's it. Three. Very nice. Two. And one. While we're here, show me a flat tummy and reach across. And a flat back at the same time. Reach. Well done. Reach, take your time, good, last one, okay, feet back to the middle, everybody okay, just walk it through, good, we're going for the box step, so that's just forward and back, 
forward, armor. So you're going to make it as big as you can. Let the arms do what they like and try and get them as high as you can. Reach. Well done. Up we go. Last two. That's it. Very nice. Now with the feet, push through. We call it the pedal step to get all the way through the feet. Good. I'm going to roll this shoulder and the elbow and then the whole arm. That's it. Good. As big a circle as you can. And then the other side. Shoulder first. Then comes the elbow. Now, of course, you can go faster with the feet if you like. Up to you. Good. And there's the final circle. Good. So, other foot needing now. Back to back, forward, forward, back, back. Bigger step as you can manage. Got to make a bit of space around you. That's it. I'm going to take the arms higher now. Up, up. Good. Feeling okay? Nearly finished. There we go. Very nice. And pause. Pause in the music. Everybody okay? Good, 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 good. Are you breathing a bit more deeply? I hope so. I am. Please get a drink of water and I'll meet you back here for a stretch. I'm going to use my chair for the stretch, but you may have a wall. You remember last time we were doing it on the wall? Or you may have a windowsill or a worktop or anything. Either way, feet below hips. Let's take that first leg back as far as we comfortably can. Good, and push the heel down. Softening the front knee and leaning in. I do apologize for my hair constantly getting in the way. I know you will all understand because we're all in the same boat, aren't we? Let's bring this foot forward, unless you happen to have a hairdresser living with you. Soften the knees as low as you comfortably can, because obviously that's going to increase that stretch. And then we push under with the hips and back. I think it's easier for the men, don't you? My daughter-in-law has sent for some uh, clippers, so we've been able to um, see to the men of the household. But we ladies, not so easy. Good, up we come. Now the leg that was back, Let's stretch through the foot. And again, we hopefully you can see this. Let me come back a bit, that's it. We did this, if you have a handy skirting board or wall, you might prefer to do it that way. We put the foot up as steeply as we can and take the weight onto the chair, that's it. And then we get a good stretch down through the Achilles, down through the soleus, the Achilles, and up through the foot. Good, so you can wiggle around with it, that's it. You bent the knee and straightened it, good. But if you've got a skirting board or a wall, you might find that a bit easier. Right, while we're here, we'll do one of my favorites. Feet a little bit wider and a slow reverse backwards. Good, down we go until we can flatten the back. Flat on the tummy and feel a strong stretch down the back of the legs. Good. And in we come. And you'll remember I always like to do it twice because with most stretches, the first time is to like a warning to the muscles and the soft tissues. And the second time is usually more effective. So we just hold that there for a few seconds longer. I think I might have told you I'm very keen on training. Let's uh, be doing the other leg while we're talking. I once did a course on stretching, so now the other leg is going back. All about history of stretching and the 
different types of stretching and so on. That's it, push the hips forward. And over the years, there have been many different theories. They currently seem to indicate that you should hold a stretch for about 20 seconds, possibly 30, but more than that doesn't improve things. You don't get any further benefit that's long enough to hold it. So there you are, some free information. Good. And back we come for this one, trying to find the right angle. That's it, down we go. Tucking under and back. And again, you'll remember that if you want to, you can also hold on and lean back. Drop the chest back. Good. You can pause the video at any time and do a few more of these on either leg. It is very odd, isn't it? This business of working without being able to see each other. Up we come with the other foot. I think I might have mentioned in my last email that I'd taken part in a seminar with some people from the National Institute of Aging, which is at uh, a university. And uh, we discussed all sorts of things. And, and one of the points made was how much people miss the social side, the sort of seeing all their friends and working out together. And if you think how we normally are in the class and who is on your right and who is on your left and, you know, we're all missing each other, aren't we? But thank you for being with me today. At least we can see each other now. So... Let's move on to doing some weights. Um, I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, you by now, I think, will have your own. And I'll come back here and you'll have a variety of weights to choose from, I'm sure. So I've given up the wine bottles, or at least I've put them back in the fridge. And I've got these, which as you can see, all weigh different amounts. Maybe you've got uh, tins of beans, or maybe you do these exercises without weights. That's fine. Um, I think most of you are using the videos five or six times. So you can um, experiment. You can start without weights. You can use big ones, small ones. When I'm talking to you, I try and use slightly smaller ones than I would normally, so you don't have to hear me grunting and groaning. And um, sometimes they do leak, these, so I can get this far, and then it'll leak all over me. So I hope you don't have that problem. Okay, let's put some music on. Here we go. And move straight along. I'm trying to keep the music in one place so it isn't too noisy but hopefully you'll let me know. There we go. So have the weights down by the side, roll the shoulders back and down, slowly lift, lift. Now we don't do very many, so you should have the heaviest weight you can manage for the number of repetitions that we do. So you may need to experiment to find a bag that you can fit two bags of flour in. Up we come. Or two bags of potatoes or whatever it is. A couple more. That's it. Now, of course, you can be doing this standing. Looks just the same. Although you can add in a squat to move at the same time as the arms. Good. Last one here. That's it. Good. Now out to the side. Lift. Lift. And what else do we lift while we're doing this exercise? The lovely set of muscles that we call the pelvic floor. Lift. Lift and gently release. I'm using single arms, but of course at any stage, make it two arms together. Lift the pelvic floor, low. 
Inhale. Well done. And one more here. Up with the pelvic floor, in with the tummy. Down and release. Up to the front. Forward. In and down. As the lift goes forward, you should feel the tummy tensing up. If you don't, your weight is too light and you're not getting so much benefit. So try and pick up a heavier one. Good. So that as you come up, pull the pelvic floor up. Well done. And you work the tummy at the same time. And that's the advantage. I'm going for a couple more of these. Good. This track is called Stand By Me. So of course you can be standing. Maybe I'll just do that. So this time, pull the elbow up behind. And lower. And the elbow up behind. Good. I'll just do four on this side. And if you're standing, as you do it, you can bring the opposite knee up. That's it. If you want to, only if you want to. Good. Now two arms together. And you can change the knees. Good or you're seated. So plenty of options. Never feel that you can't join us because there's always plenty you can be doing. Good. So again, I'm going to angle to show you I'm lifting the arm behind, but we want to face forward. Good. Lift. Good. And then the other side. Or you can do both arms together. You can be standing. And you can be working the pelvic floor. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Last time. Both arms together. And again, as the arms go out behind you, like this, you'll feel the tummy turn on to keep you safe. Well done. Okay. Deep breath. Good. Out to the side. Fold the arms up. Bring them together. And down. Out. Well done. Fold. Close to the front. And down. Good. Strength and resistance. Uh, we've talked about this at great length, haven't we? we? I don't need to tell you any more. Ask me if you want any more detail. I can't imagine that you do. You're here, so I know you're ready and committed to getting fitter, stronger, safer. Good. Arm to the front. I'll just fold up. And up. Up. So again, the elbow is going to stay at the same height as the shoulder. I'm mainly doing these exercises in fours, so that will give you a good idea of quite how heavy you need the weight to be. Can you just finish while I turn that off? There we go. Where have we got to? Four. Good. Thank you very much. Now, if that's going to be the end of the number of weights you do, then you'll want to be stretching the arm out, folding the fingers back. But if that's not enough for you, then you've a choice. You can find heavier weights, or if you can't find heavier weights, or there's a limit to how much you can carry. For me, that's, that's, that's a good strong weight, four pints. <laughs> Um, there we go. So anything bigger than that, I would find too bulky to lift above my head. So if you have gone as heavy as you can go, good, let's fold this back and push it up. 
then your next bet would be to pause the video and repeat. If you want to extend this stretch, you can go over to one side. That's it. So that's, you always have that option of pausing to repeat. I think a few of us find that the best thing to do is to watch the video all the way through once, maybe while you're doing something else, chopping the onions or, I don't know, painting your toenails, lying in the bath, whatever it is, and then join in the next time. Because you know I try and make it as different as I can. I mean, there's a limit, isn't there? But I try and mix it up and make it more interesting and vary it so that it bears repeating. Because who knows when the halls will be open again and we can get back together. So although this isn't ideal, it's the best we can do. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Good, okay. So now we're gonna go behind the chairs. I'm going to keep my weights, um, but if you've had enough with yours, pop them to one side, but please just have a quick drink of water. I'll do the same. And we're going to get behind the chair so you don't really need to see my feet. I'll put it there. I'm going to put my weights on the chair, but yours might simply be handy. And we'll take the feet nice and wide. Maybe I'll do this, that's easier. And uh, see if we've got some nice music here. Okay. Good. Good. Ready to come up on the toes? Take a deep breath. Up we come on those toes. Good. Now hold it as long as you can. And then when we go down, we like to bend back, don't we? As low as we can. So, up on the toes, hold, 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 well done. And bend the knees, good. Well done. I wish I could turn the camera around, because outside, although it's a grey day, I can see green grass in the garden, and then the river full of boats, and then the Martello Tower, and then the sea. It's a great view. I'm very lucky. Good. Okay, shake the legs out. That's it. And then point to one side. And when you're ready, lift. Lift. You can hold on. You can release. You can use some weight. Anything to make this half hour or three quarters of an hour or whatever it ends up being a little bit more valuable, a little bit more use to you. Good. Excellent. So back with the feet nice and wide. Again, up on the toes and this time we'll add our reach, our stretch and then back on the heels. Yes, we've all done this before. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Of course, you can add things in. Or you can let me know if I've missed out your favourite exercise. The plea of the instructor. Nobody ever says, yes, yes, this is my favourite exercise. Please can we do this? Let me tell you, folks, that never happens. Surprise me. Send me a request. Good. Last time here. That's it. Okay, now we're going to take the feet behind. That's it. And as soon as you can, lift. And again, if you're a weights person, you want a bit more going on here, lift. And lift. Good. I'm going to put the weights down because I've got enough to concentrate on. But your choice, let's leave this foot up and fold the foot up towards the hips. Good. How many can you do? I think I'll just do four. Good. And then I'm going to walk through. But please do a few more if you can. How it goes. Fold. 
And again, you can be doing anything you like with the weights, of course. I want you to be able to tailor the video. There are so many options. You must choose what you would like to do. Good. Woo. Okay, it's only a carpet, it doesn't matter. So out we go, toe and heel with this foot. And back in, toe and heel. That's it. So we're working on strengthening the ankle. That was two times. This is the third time. Out it goes. Hold on to the chair if you'd like to. Bend the knee. And straighten. Good. Flexibility. That's what we're after here. Third time you go out. Go as low as you can or hold on to the chair. Very good exercise. You're strengthening this leg and lengthening this one. Good. Back we go in. And the other side. So toe heel first. Good. And toe heel back. Toe heel out. Toe heel back. Good. Third time lucky. Let's pause it there. Push the knee out as far as you can. That's it. I'm just going to pause the music. And again, out we go. And third time lucky, sit down into the stretch. You can hold on here for safety, but try to get as low as you can to get the maximum benefit. Good. As I always say, this is the way to get stronger and safer. Very nice. Well done, everyone. Okay, I'm still going to keep the weights, but now we're going to look at balance. So we switch the chair around, everybody okay? We pause and have a little drink. Always very important to keep hydrated. The vet told me this in relation to the dog. We have a very elderly dog who we like to um, take onto the golf course with us, but they're not so good at hydrating themselves as uh, they were when they were younger these animals and we too all have the same issue so you must keep drinking keep having little sips good okay everybody ready for a bit of balance I don't do this every week but I put it in this week there we are good so pulling up tall Let's have a little swish through with the foot first. That's the way. Good. And then the foot closest to the chair, let's bring it up off the ground. If you want to, of course, you've got a weight or two in this, in your hands. If you can hold your balance with the weights, Please do. Good. So walk it through here. And then the legs going out to the side. Take your balance. Pull up tall. And if you have the confidence, if you have the strength, if you've been practicing and a bit too close to the chair, you can lift the foot off the ground. And I'd like you to keep lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. Great work. Building our confidence in our balance and building our strength in our muscles for safety. Good. And rub your legs if you like to until they don't go on, until they both feel strong again. Okay, so we're going to take this foot behind and gently push away. And back, and away, and back. A few more. Push, and back, and push, and back. Two more. Release the chair if you can. Hold your weights if you can. Good, that's two. Walking it through. Well done. When you're ready, 
I'd like you to kick this leg forward, put it back down on the ground and sit back. Kick it out to the side, that's it. And then sit back like you were sitting down. Kick behind. And sit back. I'm going to angle the chair so you get a better view of that. So kicking forward. And sit back. Good. Kick to the side. Sit back. Kick behind, sit back, good. I'm gonna pause the music now. Um, and you can be holding weights while you do that, or, in fact, this applies all the way through. I often wear my weights in a rucksack on my back. In fact, this is my one and only handbag, as you, many of you know but I can fill it full of water bottles, and that means I'm carrying a greater weight. Good, just to finish off on this side, we're gonna do our lunges. So that's one foot forward, one foot back, and we try and bring it down so that both knees are bending together. The weight goes down in between the two legs, and you just go as far as is comfortable for you. I can probably get mine to 90 degrees, but I do do this a lot. <laughs> and if yours go to 10 degrees, that's fine. This is resistance exercise. The more you do it, the stronger and safer you will be. Last one. Very nice. And then we'll move the chair around to the other side. And we find some lovely music. And carry right along. Everybody okay? Everybody got some water? Please pause at any time. I don't know when you're doing this. Could be midnight for all I know. Okay. Uh, let's have some pretty woman. Good. Swish, 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 swish. I'm a lark. I'd never even be awake at midnight. That's for owls only. Good. So picking up this inside foot so it's slightly in front of the leg. Good. Maybe you've got your weights. Maybe you haven't. You're not sliding down into the hip, keeping both hips level. Breathing gently, smiling happily at me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, everyone. To the side now. Take your balance. Stay here if you're happy with that. If you can float the leg up and tap down, I'm even happier. It's a grey day here, so I can see my face isn't in much light. My apologies. Learning as we go along here. Good. I did try it landscape. This is, this is obviously portrait, and I tried it this way, but you just couldn't see my feet at all. And that was really no good for what we're doing here. So pick the foot up behind you. If you can, push away and bring it back. That's it. If you can release the chair. Well done. If you're carrying weights, even better. But you must do what works for you. You want to feel properly worked out by the end of the half hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever it ends up being. Good. It's no good if you feel you could do the whole thing again. It really isn't. Okay, we're going to kick forward and then squat. Kick to the side. Well done. And squat. Kick back. And squat. I only have time to do two rounds of these. But you can put on your favourite music and do eight more rounds to get more of a workout. And you can try it with weights on your back. Of course, good. Kick it out, kick it out. And we finish with the lunges. So outside foot forward, inside foot back, hold onto the chair and slowly go down. Good. A little further each time. That's the way. Good. And again, we're going to 
quiet the music down because I know that Roy Orbison is disappearing any minute now. Pretty Woman. You remember that film? Very good one to watch in lockdown to cheer yourself up. Unfortunately, my husband likes rather gloomy films, so not very likely we'll be seeing that one. There we go. Well done, everyone. Let's have a bit of a stretch. So, little drink. Good. Little sit down. And a little stretch. Let's start with the neck. So, just take it over to one side. You can use your hand if you like. Not everybody does. Push the other hand right down because it, it holds longer here. In fact, this is one of the few stretches I think that is worth holding for at least 20 seconds and also worth doing in a mirror. I know I've mentioned this before. I know most of us don't like mirrors. Let the chin fall and come up. And we'll do the other side. Like, like many people I know, when I look in the mirror, I only see now my mother, my dear lovely mother, no longer with us, but there she is every time I look in a mirror. I think my sister has a similar problem. Good, drop the chin. There we are. We're gonna tuck the chin in and look around to the side. So thinking about posture again and breathing gently. Very important at the moment that we all keep as fit as we possibly can. You don't need me to tell you around the other way. Coronavirus attacks the lungs. So we want to look after our cardiovascular health, our lungs and heart. And again, round to the side. Good. And the other way. Now you can do this, any of these, standing or seated. If you're seated, hold on to the chair. Please take one arm up, have the feet nice and wide, and then go over to the side. Good. And release. And then the other side. And I'm so grateful to you all for keeping in touch with me so that I know that you're well. You're not succumbing to this horrible disease. Fingers interlock, push them away, push the shoulder blades apart so we can round the back and the chin falls onto the chest. That's it. Good. And then release and we'll go the other way. I'm going to move my chair out of the way momentarily. Putting the hands behind me, push down low as you can. Lift the chest, that's it. And open, open, open. Lovely. Good. Well, I wish you all a good fortnight. Thank you very much for joining me. Lovely to see you. Give me as much feedback as you can. I miss you and I can't wait to see you all again. Bye.